Welcome back to a new video. Grocery shopping is done. For you who's new to the channel, hi, I am Ida and I'm here to simplify fitness and health for you. So you guys saw, grocery shopping has been done. Astonishing $130 for a few meals. So we will go through a little bit of what I got and what I am going to do with that. Because guys, today I'm taking you through a full day of eating on a little bit of a shredding plan. Always, always has some greens, some leafy greens. I love kale. I have been um, really in the mood for kale lately. So kale, peaches, bananas, banana, feta cheese, tomatoes, tomato, pita bread, tortilla bread, protein sources. We got some turkey, we got some meat, we got some chicken, some beans, and you know, I love my granola. And yes, you can still have that even, even though you want to lean down a little bit. We got some Carb Monster, which is like a Greek yogurt, cashew milk instead of almond milk, nice beans and corns. We got some cream of rice, got some taco seasoning, and some Koya pancakes. Thank you. So, yeah, I am going to take you through today a full day of what I eat. So, let's go. I remember once telling you guys that I don't really do smoothies that often, but then I ended up stumbling upon a new recipe for my recipe bank. And I am so obsessing <laughs> over this peach cobbler smoothie. So that is what Henrik and I are going to have to break for breakfast today. And it's gonna be cashew milk, oats, vanilla protein, vanilla drops, peach, which are in the freezer, which I mentioned in the instructions is one of the tips for this. Cinnamon, also important. Gonna blend all of this together and I'm gonna sip it and enjoy it and be sweet. That's what food makes us happy. I am going to sip it before I'm even done with it. <laughs> but to make it even better, I could dash in some more cinnamon. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little more cinnamon, cinnamon make it another stir, and then we go. I tried to make it look cute, but the peaches fall down. Fell down. Fell down is the correct grammar. My rating, it is an eight out of 10, but only because the peaches were not full of flavor enough and I had too much water. But otherwise, this is a 10 out of 10 smoothie. I highly recommend you try it out. Ugh. And guys, do you know what? I was standing here prepping Henrix and realized that I almost forgot to take the creatine inside of the smoothie because that's a smart move when I'm not going to the gym today because otherwise I will forget this. So I'm adding, adding, adding. <laughs> I am adding in a scoop of creatine as well because if you didn't know, you should not have time off of your creatine. So if you are a user of creatine, you should have it every single day, even on rest days. So don't forget that kids. Okay, I really think I do have a new obsession because as I said, I'm not a smoothie fan, but now peach is just the thing right now. Comment down below peaches if you love peaches too. And if you want to have recipes like this, make sure to become a member of IBFit because as you also saw, it's super easy to go shopping and to have meals already planned and made up that is healthy, nutritious and good. That is actually way easier to, than to decide upon what to eat every single day. So let's save some time together. <laughs> I couldn't. I tried to have my hair down all day, but I couldn't. So anyways, back to meal number two, which is going to be lunch. And it's very, very simple and very, very tasty. It's just gonna be a beef wrap. And guys, it's not supposed to be hard to keep a healthy and nice and tasty lifestyle. So let's get into it. We got a sirloin tip steak. It's gonna be enough for Henrik and I. Tortillas, tomatoes, feta cheese, cucumber, and baby spinach. This is all you need. And now I'm gonna make sure to make it a tasty beef. <laughs> I don't know what he did, but uh, I'm going to season it with salt and pepper because if it, the meat is good, the meat is good. Moveno? Moveno? 
get it, Henry? <laughs> no. Cameraman? Thank you, no Swedish, please. You should try the Swedish speaker. Uh, <laughs> so no English today. Fatter det eller? Fatter det eller? I'm gonna wait for the pan to heat up just a slightly, and then I'm gonna have like one or two minutes on each side. And whenever you're following a recipe, always make sure to spice things up the way spice. Use spices as you prefer, or use temperatures as you <laughs> prefer. Why was that so hard? Oh, I am having a little bit too much going on in my head today. But uh, it's okay, I'm alive, I'm well, and I'm going to cook some dinner. No, lunch. <laughs> it's lunch. It's <laughs> lunch now. I am going to let this little cool guy cool down for a second because you want all the... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna let it cool down, I'm gonna slice it up and I'm gonna prepare the wraps. Eee, I am really hungry now. This seriously took me five minutes to make. Okay, maybe eight. It looks so good. Mmm, tasty AF. We're gonna enjoy our lunch and I will catch you at meal number three, which is dinner. So I actually just came in from an uh, evening walk together with some clients. So that's what I like to do. I like to walk and talk. I get so much more alert in my thinking when I'm walking at the same time. As you might see, I'm stumbling already when I'm standing still. So it's time for dinner and it's gonna be a turkey taco bowl, which is one of my clients most frequently asked for a recipe. Um, that or beef taco bowl as well. So what I need today is ground turkey, rice, it's already prepped, I'm just gonna heat it up, kale, spinach again, cucumbers, avocado, which I've already done to a guacamole, because meal prep is life, guys. Uh, but as you guys can see, I don't have as much room. I do not neither have a microwave, which means that I might as well just cook my, uh, my protein sources right as when I'm gonna eat them. It makes life very simple, but to have things like rice cooked, to have guacamole already made, things like that actually adds up and makes it very, very more time effective. Uh, I also have some cabasana beans and some um, corn. corn. But yeah, so very easy. I'm just gonna put in the turkey in the pan, use taco seasoning, which is already made from the store. Guys, meal prepping life does not need to be hard and it should not be not tasty. So recipes can take a couple of minutes. It can also take 30, 45 minutes. But if it is one of those recipes that takes you 45 minutes, do yourself a favor and cook multiple of dishes right away. Not multiple of dishes, uh, multiple portions at the same time is a better wording. Life should be tasty, not boring, and very, very fun to live. So let's cook. One other thing that I started to think about when I was standing here, a client actually reached out to me yesterday and said, oh, you know what, it dawned on me. I'm like, what? It is actually so much more time effective to just follow the freaking meal plan because you have already put in everything that I need, the recipes and even the shopping list. So I don't even have to think about what I'm supposed to eat tomorrow, what should I need to shop for doing that, because everything is literally in there. And she's like, and it's really helpful because I can just email this to my husband and he can buy for this entire family. And everyone likes the meals. So again, I'm here to simplify things, not to make it harder. And that's also one of the things that I also thought about that I you might have seen that I said to you what I eat but I don't mention at all how many calories I consume because that is individual to you it's gonna be individual to me we might have the same exact goal we might have the exact same workout regimen between you and I but still depending on how we eat will actually make that differ in results so that's why I'm leaving my calorie count out of this but yes, I am trying to eat a little bit less than I 
have been doing for the entire past year uh, because I finally feel like my body is responding very well so you might be seeing some more cuts coming through just because I want to challenge myself because challenging yourself to do something that you don't normally do is actually kind of reviving Can we just take a second and laugh at the arrangements? Henrik is eating from a whole freaking top. <laughs> we take what we got, right? <laughs> Voila! Alright, dinner time. Do you guys know what I realized? I haven't shown you the slightest bit that I've been drinking water the entire day. So I aim to drink 100 oz at minimum so i'm actually up at maybe 120 which is three to four liters a day water is actually way more important than you think and i would highly recommend you to even though you think you drink water add in a little bit extra uh but back to my meal i am a person that loves volume and this looks like a great load of food because i have a lot of lettuce and stuff on the bottom of this which is good too so let's see how this very popular taco bowl is. I have actually not tried it exactly like this and I do miss the lime and the cilantro, but anyways. I mean, this can never go wrong. Right, cameraman? Yeah, I mean, I can eat that every day. Mm. Every single day. Yeah, I mean, life is pretty damn good, isn't it? So guys, I'll catch you at the last meal of the day. See you soon. Okay, people, I just turned down the computer, turned down shut down a computer and it's time for some social media so social media is that a word i just minted a new word and also my favorite meal of the day to be honest but first vitamins i usually take them in the evenings because i most often fall asleep in my bed in my home and that's why it's always good i didn't get anything of that actually <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, let's start over. <laughs> Everyone asks me, what is the best time of the day to take your vitamins? And I would say the day, no, the time of the day when you're most likely to continuously take them. Which is for me, evening time, because most often I go to bed in my own apartment, to my own bed. And I have my supplements right here, which means it's a very easy peasy thing to take them in the evening. Does it matter what time? No, not really. So therefore just take it whenever suits you. And this is the number one supplement that I recommend to anyone, regardless of activity level, regardless of age, regardless of fitness goal. But for anyone that wants to be overall healthy, take your vitamins and do not use those tablets, those hard packed, non-nutrient dense tablets. Use capsules, shares. One take, cameraman. One take. Damn. Yes. Um, and now I'm gonna swing around and you will see what I have for dessert or evening snack or whatever you want to call it in this bowl We have the best parts of everything. We have yogurt or carb monster as we use uh, And also granola and this time around it was a chocolate and peanut butter one because it has the lowest sugar that I could possibly find today in the store and then also organic peanut butter Crunchy. Comment down below crunchy if you're like me and love crunchy peanut butter. Um, and guys, this is actually the meal that I'm always longing for. Shut up. I am informing people here. <laughs> uh, Let me see it. Like, look at this masterpiece. No one can not like this. Henrik likes it, but he's not a fan. Like a, I eat the granola and save the yogurt. Yes. That is knucklehead. <laughs> But guys, anyways, I just want to go through a full day of eating with you guys. And if you have any questions, let them let them down. <laughs> no, we will not let anyone down in this channel. Put them down below in the in the comments. And also, as I said, team crunchy, where you at? Until next time, guys. Love you. Party best. <laughs>